wherever it is that we go and we do shows and there's military folks in the audience, I will always ask them, I say, hey, how many of y'all grew up having a relative? These, these are men and women in uniform. How many of y'all grew up having a relative, whether it was a grandpa, a father, a mother, a sister, a brother that served in the army or served in the military before you? And 85 to 90% of the room will raise their hand. When I was growing up, I don't really know that there was a life before the military because my father was in. And he was a, dad was a ranger and I remember being in Berlin in Germany while he was serving in, in the army. You're not, you're a kid, you don't know that you're part of, it's like history's going, this is, he's part of the Vietnam era. The year I was born, he was gone. And then he was gone again in 68. And then again, in the, in the, he volunteered to go back on, in the 70s again. I learned how tough the military is on families. When he volunteered to go back that third time, it was more than my mom had signed on for. You know, she didn't sign up to go be in a war for three times. And so it was tough for her with two kids and they got divorced. My mom, we came back to the States and my mom, we grew up in Gainesville, Florida where she went to college and took, took care of myself. Can you imagine like you and me nowadays being like a 24 year old who's got two kids and going to college and trying to raise them, you know, and it was tough. And what I remember of my dad was he would come and he'd visit us during the summers, and in summers we would go see him. But, and he stayed in the Army all the way through the 80s up until I graduated, and I would go visit him at the Pentagon. And he never pushed the military on me, and the stories that I ever heard him tell me were always stories that would make you laugh. Like, Dad was never going to tell you that the, the stories that are too serious about doing and being in a combat or you know, they were always something funny. And so I learned an appreciation for the military. It was just one of those things that even your school teachers or just someone who you knew had served, there was just always a respect for that. And so I felt like it was always something I should do.